Good morning from Legoland Windsor and it's the first time we've been to Legoland Windsor in 2019 and we've kind of held off because we wanted to do the haunted house and we were going to come for haunted house opening day or opening weekend we weren't going to come on the opening day to be fair that just seems silly and of course the ride was shut it was shut Kurt yep and it was shut yep. so we went to Fort Park instead and we had a great time at Fort Park actually because it was quite quiet so today we're going to have a little look around the park uh, it is windy today so I apologise really early for any wind noise that you hear you are going to hear some wind noise um, it's gale force winds today we're expecting a few rides to be closed we've already seen that due to weather conditions the monorail over there isn't open um, you know any kind of spit of rain a little bit of dust and that thing doesn't open in fairness so I'm not overly shocked by that but we'll show you around mini land before the park opens and we are heading straight down we are going to follow the crowds down to the haunted house and try out the new Vacoma Madhouse for 2019 and you'll see as well there are a lot of new signage around we've seen a few on the way down we'll pick them up again on the way out but just in case you didn't know we're in mini land mini land and this of course was the new area for 2018 which still looks fresh and we like the fact it looks fresh so we'll show you around mini land now uh, we'll take in some of the sights of here while we wait for the park to open and we're down to the haunted house we definitely want to do spinning spider today we'd love to get on ninjago the dragon as well but we'll see how it plays it's a bit it's a bit cloudy kurt it's cold as well we've just come out of the massive sort of heat spell of easter and it's freezing it's freezing do we want to go and dance do you want to go and dance do you want to go and dance why? You want to go and dance? No. I prefer to look around Miniland. Look at them go, look. <laughs> You're saying. <laughs> there we go. They don't want to go and dance with them. I think we should, but they don't want to go and dance with them. We'll take you around Miniland now, start it off nice and peacefully, and then we're heading straight down to the haunted house for when it opens at 10 o'clock. Everything is awesome. Nah. Everything is awesome. Nah. It's awesome. He's not feeling everything is awesome. Everything awesome, Kurt? Apparently everything's not awesome. So that was a little trip around Miniland there. I really hope you enjoyed that. I love looking around Miniland. The models here are just stunning, absolutely stunning. When you think, you know, the man hours, the effort, the amount of bricks that go into these, ah, oh, something else. But we're gonna be heading down there very shortly and we're gonna take you straight to the haunted house. Cody, move, like, move. How am I waiting for them to come? Don't look busy already. And here we are, haunted house, once party. Actually, that looks really good from the front, doesn't it? It's open. It doesn't look like the train. I don't know if the train's back open yet, but we're going to get straight in the queue now for once party. This isn't too bad. I'm quite happy with this. Take some shots on the way out. Yeah, look at this. Ooh, ooh there's more queue over there. So this is disappointing. This is a bit of a disappointing queue line, isn't it? Compared to Ninjago, yeah. Ninjago. Hmm. We've got some nice signs though as we go around. There we go, isn't it? Jaw monster. So this actually isn't too bad. 
the amazing vampire. It's the party time. Wait for the next one now. What do you think? First impressions. It looks good. This one it does look good. I actually like the building. Everyone's worried about the tin shed, but you know the side bit probably shouldn't pay too much attention to. The front looks amazing. Yeah. Well, that's a long queue to to be stuck in that one. Yeah. We're catching up the queue now, so when we get to the front bit, we'll switch back on for some close up to the building. Monster Cody, make yourself a monster. Really? That oh, looks better. What about the bottom? There we go. Well, yeah, a bit disjointed, but there we go. Here we go. Let's have a side of this. You think of the size of Hex, it's not a massive building. I don't know what the pre show's like. It's not a huge building inside. Especially considering the main pit of it will be in here. The pre show area might be quite small, assuming you go straight into a pre show. Please make sure you keep your belongings with you at all times and keep your group together. Please be aware the party features loud music, flashing lights, and some. Before everyone comes in the front queue. We also can't take you on board, but we'll let you know what it's like. Party featuring the most spectacular party trick ever. There is no greater party in town. There is no other party in the uh, town. Yes, well, I'm so glad you all came. I just love to throw huge parties for my snacks. Uh, I mean, friends. <laughs> Spiders! <laughs> views to the front. That's a witch. Way in there. <laughs> and that was the uh, monster house, haunted house monster party. What do you think of that? Good? Different? Very different. Very different. In what way? You don't know. Right. Okay. They don't sound thrilled after getting off it. Uh, that's that's the thing. Uh, Q's not very bad today. 
yeah, I mean, the theme looks really, really nice. It does look really, really nice. I mean, compare it to Hex. Hex is better. Mm. Hang on, just while we're here, we'll notice the train isn't actually back open yet. My understanding was the train will be open once the Monster House is open, but it's not back open yet. And also as well, we will show these as we go around, but we've got a lot of new boards. Kind of highlights the area you're in and everything that's going on, everything that's available in the area. But yeah, sorry, Hex. Yeah, Hex is better, I think. Hex is better. So that's a really weird one, that, because... I think that's just because Hex is more thrilling, right? Well, I mean, Hex is the same ride. It's just... It tells a story. It's for younger children, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, you know... Let's get the positives out of the way. Actually, the building, bearing in mind everyone was on about the tin shed, the building doesn't look too bad at all. I think actually inside looks really, really nice. Um, the lighting effects are brilliant. Um, the, the kind of pre-show is a bit basic, to be honest. Um, I don't really think it tells a story very well, the Monster Party story. Um, you know, when you, and we do compare it to Hex, because we've got Hex. Um, we could compare it to the Haunting as well, at Drayton Manor, to be fair. And in terms of the Haunting, although that's had a few revamps, that's probably better than the Haunting. Um, in, in what it does, but the haunting again probably tells a slightly better story. So it's a really difficult one. Hex tells such a wonderful story as you go through that you're just immersed from scene to scene to scene, and when you get to the end, you know, you're already slightly terrified. There's one kind of pre show in there after you've walked up the stairs, which we, we try to uh, show you, and uh, yeah, it doesn't really set the mood for a party. I don't feel very party ish. I didn't feel very party ish either. They'd be like they would actually show a dance you meant to like copy, but no, yeah, it's this just do your own dance. It was just sort of, we just sort of boogied. So that was a bit weird. It was a bit weird. What do you think? Weird. Weird. He's just following me. Weird. Um, once on the madhouse though, there are some nice touches on it. Obviously where it's a bit more modern, it's got individual seats. Individual seats is good because then people don't argue about how many people need to go on a bench. So that was good. Um, the bar came down really tightly, really tightly. Um, that was a bit of a surprise. And you know, again, the lighting on there is really, really nice. There's a, uh, you know, right at the end, there's a, um, a ceiling glow from ultraviolet, which was a really nice effect. Um, it does judder a bit. Had a bit of a judder, didn't it? For, no, for a brand new madhouse, it does judder a bit. And Cody's right on the ball there. You know, it's a party in there. You can barely hear it. You know, we moan about Hex being too low, and Hex is quite loud. You really couldn't hear it, didn't you? It felt like there was one tiny little speaker in the corner uh, where the DJ booth. So on the left hand side, I don't know if it picked up in the video, we tried to take a quick shot. It's a TV screen with the effectively the, the Monster Party DJ going at it. And then you've got lights all the way around. And obviously, uh, those familiar with a madhouse, you kind of rock uh, about 45 degrees left and right while the room spins at the same time. As I said, the light is brilliant. The UV was brilliant. Really, really enjoyed it. But it was really quiet. Like, really quiet. You know, you're in there and it didn't feel like a party. You know, I could turn to Kurt, he was a couple of seats down. We could have a conversation, he could hear me, which really shouldn't be the case. We didn't really feel as immersed in the atmosphere as what, as what we could have been. So, a bit hit and miss, to be honest. It is early days. Obviously, it's early days for it. And, um, you know, we're expecting a few minor changes, I'm sure, as it goes on. You know, detail inside, lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely detail inside. Um, you know, pre-show is good. It's good for the children, it just lacks a bit of substance. And the madhouse is brand new, so I'm sure it'll settle down and, and, and become good, but you know, it needs louder music. Desperately, desperately needs some louder music in there, need to turn the volume up. But anyway, anyway, we've done it. Yep. Tree in his hair. We've done it. So where now? Are we gonna go Ninjago? Yeah. Busy? I don't know. Will it be busy? Probably. Put your psychic head on, will it be busy? Yeah, I think so. Will it be busy? The psychics have told us it's going to be busy. Again, I'm really sorry about the wind. It is so windy here. Uh, we're going to try and go on as many rides as we can. And in Jargo, let's go check it out. As we walk through here, the whole front of this has been completely redone. Looking really fresh with a proper uh, Scarab Bouncer sign as well as laser, laser Raiders. We're a bit late to the party on Laser Raiders, so. We're not going to stand in that today. Mia's riding adventure is closed. It's possibly due to the wind, but the whole area is closed off. There's no sign or anything like that. So we can't get on that today. But we are going to go and have a look at Ninjago. We enjoyed Ninjago, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. That was a cracking addition. One of the best ones. One of the best ones, yeah. If you got it working, it was one of the best ones. Let's go see the queue time, shall we? This doesn't look open. This doesn't look open either. I don't even look there. Oh, it's there. I'm going blind. 
All right. Let's have a look. Let's keep it to 25 open. minutes. What it says. That's got a bin. That's blatantly not opening today. I'm sure it's wind related. 35 minutes. Queue's here, look. How busy is that? That's all the way around the back. That's a busy queue for Ninjago. I think we need to try and find some uh, some times, I think. Dragon. We'll go and try some fine times. Just gonna see if the dragon's open, but it is windy. I'm not convinced dragon's gonna be open. Lockflow might be. Yay. I pulled the spray on, let's go for it. No shop today, I don't visit main shop, but dragon. 15 minutes. Ooh. It's about 11 o'clock now to be fair, 15 minute queue for this isn't bad at all. We weren't worried it wouldn't be open, weren't we? We were worried with the wind that it wouldn't be open. Yep, There's a queue just there, look. It's probably slightly more than 15 minutes unless it's on free trains. I'll get you some views though from up here. Ooh, that's all. It's alright, we're gonna wait for the dragon. New sign for this year. Clearly have a right arrow on it. A nice new sign. So as you saw there, the shelving's been removed inside the little building here. I'm a little bit shocked about to be fair. There's some nice theming in there. Now I'm coming around here. Let's have a quick look here. Now then, I think, Kurt doesn't remember, but I think you used to be able to stand over that drop and watch it. We never came down here because there's always, there's always loads of people, but I think you used to be able to stand over that and you can't anymore. You can only stand next to it, which is quite interesting. But Dragon, that was all right, wasn't it? Yep. Do like a Dragon. Yeah. Do like a Dragon. Um, I think if LEGO Land get no new rides for next year, I wouldn't expect them to, to be honest, after two years, it's quite a heavy investment. I'd love to see them just sort this out because uh, the Blessed Dragon needs some love. It really does need some love. It's not... Uh, it's not quite. It's not quite in the prime condition that um, you know. It's a highlight ride of the park. At the end of the day, it's the highlight roller coaster. It's probably the highlight ride of the park. It's not quite in the condition we expect it. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah. New signage. There's a lot of new signage everywhere actually in the park, which is really really nice that they're uh, you know keeping it fresh and investing. That exit sign though, that points upwards. Yeah. You can't go upwards. That's got a point right. That's a fire exit. I'm a bit baffled that's made it through uh, through um, any kind of health and safety checks. We're not going to do a Knight's Quest, but again, we will have a look at Knight's Kingdom board here. These lovely new boards that are around everywhere. We haven't actually picked up a map yet. Oh boy, we haven't seen one. But um, yeah, the maps are effectively on there and it's highlighted the area we're in, which is really, really nice. Uh, spider, I think. Yeah. So you went down to Funland the other day, didn't you? Yeah. So they went down to Funland the other day to go on the teacups there. They're really, really good teacups. Obviously, we've done uh, Fort Parks. Yeah. They were good, weren't they? Nice. So we've been looking forward to coming along to the... Um, we've been looking forward to coming along to the spider. We love the spider. Here's Jolly Rocker. It is windy. I was a bit surprised to see the dragon open. 15 minutes, though. One 15 minute queue, it's only on two trains and uh, you know, really di really disappointingly, I know there's QBot and I've never agreed with Fast Track and QBot usually works really well but when 12 of the 14 rows are QBot on a train, I'm sorry Legoland, that's just not acceptable, it's really not acceptable when we're queuing, um, you know, that needs to be spaced out a lot better than that and it was really disappointing. Not a lot of refreshments open, quite long queues building. Quite long queues building, but we do want to get on the uh, we want to get on the spin spider, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna head over to spin spider.
little bit sidetracked with the Jolly Rocker, but look at this, look. That's a detail we like. Spider time. Spider time. Spider time. That's a spinning spider sorted, and that is how they should spin. Fort Park, take note. Yep. Another Park Shore sign. Yeah. New signage. Yeah, Fort Park, take note. Now it's starting, it's starting to rain. It's not supposed to rain. It's supposed to be just windy, but it's raining. Um, hmm, what do we think? Not good. What? Rain. <laughs> Jesus. It's hard work, you know. It's hard work doing this. Especially with him. Hard work. We'll have a quick look at Ninjago queue on the way past, shall we? What do we think it's going to be? Even. Walk on? Even. Walk on? I reckon it's going to say 50. Walk on? No, it's not that big. Walk on? Hi guys, are you now for me? No. <laughs> I don't want a bloody now TV box. 50 minutes. What did I say? That's exactly what Ew. That's a good guess that Ew. was. Right, okay. That's definitely not opening today. It's just got longer. Uh, Mia's Riding Adventure definitely hasn't opened either today. I really was expecting the train to open. I have to do a bit of research. Walk around by the train, shall we? See what yeah. it says. I'm going to walk around by the train. Have a quick look at what that says. Oh, exciting new look. New look train. Ah, so Heart Lake City Express is actually getting a new train. To be fair, that actually hadn't been done in a while. That was green, wasn't it? Was it green? Yeah. I think it was green. I think it was red. It faded. You think it was red? I think it was green. What colour do you think it was? I think it was green and red and like loads of different. Answers in the comment below because I can't be bothered to look. What colour was the train? I'm going green, he's going red. He's, he thinks it's multicolour. I'm pretty sure it was green. It's made me think now. But a new train coming, which is why it isn't open yet. So I guess that'll be back for the summer. Pirates of Skeleton Bay. Uh, Mia is still closed. Mia's Ride Adventure is still closed, which is a bit of a shame because we'd have gone on that, wouldn't we? Yeah. We'd have gone on a bit of a disco today. We're going to head back round now. I want to have a take, another look at Monster Party, see what the queues build like as it's, it's got really busy here at the park. We did think that maybe people wouldn't come today because, um, because of the weather, but how silly are we? You know, this is Legoland and everyone just comes out, goes to Legoland. Let's head back round to Monster Party. Okay, please be aware that if you're going into the lake, you will not be able to score. Score your progress. Uh, I have no idea what that sign is there. Really random, actually. Really random. Uh, Squid Surfer is only on one side. You know, capacity today, actually. Bear in mind the park is still busy. Capacity is really bad. Um, you know, Dragon, really bad. Really bad. It seems really slow on the monster party earlier. You know, one side of that open is it's not, it's not the best. Um, queues are really, really long. We've still got a few rides we'd like to do. We'll have a little look at Atlantis on the way past, but we are heading back over to the Monster House. Yeah, it fits in really nicely, the old Monster House here. Haunted House, Monster Party. I'm going to get that wrong all year long, just before anyone says anything. You know what I mean. It's the only thing here. It's monster related. Well, I love the uh, outskirts here. I don't like the internal queue line. I don't like any of the internal queue lines. I just don't think enough efforts made, but this looks stunning. Love it. Is driving school still open? So we can walk down here now. You can see the access path that was, uh, that was put in place while this was being built. As you know, I'd imagine there's still quite a lot of work to do on the uh, train area. Uh, as Kurt said, there's a few bushes to be cut before it comes back. But yeah, it's the monster house. Um, I don't see a queue board. Do we see a queue board? There's one little one there. Oh. 25 minutes. 25 minute queue. I'd say I thought bad for the middle of the day when you think Ninjago's on 50, and I think that's got quite a good throughput. Uh, Dragon on 45. Um, spider ad, it's about 25 minutes for the Spider. It's about 20 minutes for Jolly Rocker. 25 minutes for their brand new ride. Maybe we'll give it another bash. I might go give it another bash. Obviously, we did lose some animals. Bless. Didn't we? We lost some animals. Lost the zebras and things, but we do still have some here. The park does look really, really clean this year, actually. We looked around, and you may have seen in the time lapse earlier when we walked down um, to the Monster Pie, there was someone actually cleaning the bricks. 
I don't think I've ever seen that here. It's, it's lovely to see. Lovely to see they're keeping it clean. And you know, some of the landscape in here, and certainly the gardens, are still really, really nice. You do certainly feel in the moment here um, when you're at Legoland. You know, you, where you're in like a big hole, big ditch, you can't see anything around you, you just see the theme park. It's lovely. But it is busy. Some more new signage there as well for Fairytale Brook. Not for the Jupiter Valley Airport though. And of course we hear that Splash Towers isn't open yet or isn't due to be open uh, until closer to summer. I think it's about time you went in there. Put you under the bucket. Not today, obviously. Sunny day? No. Maybe. He's a maybe. You're a no. He's a no. Waste of time, right the bell. Whoa! There you have it, people. That is a waste of time. We want rides. Now, I don't know how long we've been calling for this. Lovely new entrance with clear times as to what we can go and see and when. And there's a lot of shows on, they do show. They do show a lot of shows. What's, uh, what time is it? 12, nine 12, minutes. Lego Movie, a new adventure. Should we do it? Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. So ta sadly, nothing where Space Tower once was. Still a bit empty. For those that have seen um, some of the videos coming out of Florida with the new uh, Lego movie area been put in, we'll have seen a little mini drop tower they've put in. Now it still has poor capacity. I don't know why Lego Land keep going for poor capacity across, because you know this is probably the busiest part we come to. It's probably the busiest part we come to, and you know some of these rides just can't cope with the amount of people here. But a slightly upgraded version, or maybe two of them. I've said before, this would make the... Uh, I, I was under the understanding that the idea of the Lego Movie contract was that it had to go into every park. Now, it's gone into Florida this year, and this area just could probably do with a revamp. Incorporate in the cinema, you know, could we get a new ride out of it? Could we finally get rid of that Sky Rider that never works? You know, there's a little bit of space around here. Maybe, just maybe. But these are quite interesting. Not the fact they're signs, but they now tell you how many minutes it takes to walk to where you want to go. So I think it's great. So, we're heading back up to the top now, which is just up there. Five minutes, you got a time? Keith, you got a time? Yeah, Right, Kurt's got a time and we'll tell you how long it takes. It's great to see the hill train open, but just to gauge how windy it is here. Right, it was five minutes to the way out. Now we're near the way out, I'd say we're probably about 30 seconds away. How are we doing, Kurt? Two minutes, 25. Two minutes, 25, so I would say, that's three minutes, not five minutes, and we've not really rushed, have we? No. Kind of sauntered up here. Four minutes, maybe, for the slow people. So, yeah. It's a nice touch. Got some, uh, some queue times here. See how busy the park is today. Yeah, so we queued about 25 minutes for that. Squid Surf is not five minutes. I can tell you that now on one side. Not five minutes at all. And there we are, Legoland. That was a very, very windy Legoland, which you can probably tell, you can probably hear, I'd be surprised if you can't. A very windy one. Now we can't just cut down there, actually, we need to go this way. Uh, Brickle Tree, Christmas, Lego Movie Days. Selected days in March. Whoops. We missed those. And you can see from the outside, obviously, the Monster House, Monster Pie, Haunted House, Haunted House, Monster Pie. I'll get it right. I will get it right. Have faith. I'll get it right. Uh, being advertised on the outside. I don't have ticket machines either. We just realised I don't have ticket machines here, which is a bit old. I don't know if I've ever noticed that. I don't know whether they work or not. I'm going to have to have a little look back, but where are all the other Merlin parks? You obviously scan your pass on the way in or scan your ticket on the way in. It's all manual here. It's all manual with someone there. Never noticed it. We're not sure. Neither, none of us are sure. None of us are sure whether or not it had it or not. But Legoland, it is still busy. And I tell you, when we say that, you know, theme parks shut at the end of October and don't open up until sort of the beginning of April, people come to these parks whatever the weather. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's rammed, absolutely rammed. It's raining, it's windy, it's gusty, and uh, yeah, people, if people are packing, still, come, still arriving, still coming here. So, what do we think of Legoland today? Well, I'll tell you what, ride availability has not been good. 
And I don't oh, think it's due yeah. to the wind either. Um, you know, the extreme racers, they were shut. Uh, the Sky Rider was shut. What else was shut? Skyrider was Aero shut. Nomad. The Aero Nomad was um, closed also. The train hasn't opened yet. I was under the understanding that was opening, but can't that's the opening. On the lake. Yeah, can't get points on the lake. Don't know what's going on there. And there's a few rides up and down as well, but certainly not the full ride availability. And we've seen quite a lot of reports. It's going to be really windy, I am sorry. We've seen quite a lot of reports about rides being shut over the Easter period. And it's one reason why we wouldn't want to come here during a busy period. I don't like coming here during a busy period. It's carnage. I mean, look at the car park now. How Easter this place is mad. But we came today to ride the haunted house. Basically, that's what we've come for. We've gotten a few other rides as well, which is great. But we came today to get on the haunted house because it's a new ride in the UK and we like theme parks and we want to go on the new rides. What do we think? Interesting. Interesting. Interesting and different. It is lovely to have a madhouse close to the home. And I will say, you know, there are some positives and not so positive things about it. Obviously, one, it looks stunning. It really does. You know, everyone's worried about the building and everything like that. It looks amazing on the outside. Um, you know, queue lines, it's, it's across the UK where we don't bother with queue lines, but the building, the outside looks really, really nice. It fits the area lovely. You know, it's not out of place. Yeah, love it, love it. Inside looks really, really good. It's really well decorated. The lighting is really, really good. Um, you know, the madhouse scenes itself, you know, really, again, really, really good. I'm gonna keep using really, really good. I'm just taking off these two. But it does look great. It really looks great. Um, as we said, the lighting throughout is brilliant. Brilliant, from the little disco bits, the flashing lights to the uh, ultraviolets in there. You know, it just fits perfectly. So what's not right with it? Well, we actually said it was quite a powerful, we felt it was quite a powerful madhouse. It really felt like it had some force. It's got a bit of a judder to it, which is a bit of a shock for a brand new one. So we were a little bit surprised by that. Music. And then the music inside it just isn't loud enough. You know, it's supposed to be a party atmosphere. It's just not loud enough. It literally sounds like this is tinny little speaker in the corner, one side of the... Uh, yeah, one side of the um, of, of the madhouse. It's really strange why it's so quiet. Really, really odd. Um, but I think the main disappointing part is the story. I, I just there's no story. It's, there's no story. You say it. There's no story. There's no story. So this is coming. How old are you? Ten. It's coming from my ten-year-old. Keep forgetting he's in double digits now. Uh, it's coming from my ten-year-old. You know, he's the the ride is arguably aimed at him and slightly, obviously, slightly less. And he says there's no story to it. And I agree. I agree. There's no story to it. You don't. You've been invited in for a party, and, and it's just a, it's a weak pre-show, just a bit weak. So that is probably the disappointing part. As an attraction, it's going to do wonders for Legoland. There's no doubt about that. Um, it will do absolutely wonders for him. But this is Legoland. This is Legoland on a wet and windy day outside of Easter, and it's rammed. So if you're coming to Legoland this year, make sure you plan ahead. You get here early and you get to the ride you want to go on first. And if you can afford Q-Bop, I don't normally promote it, but I'll tell you now, it'll help you out massively. But, from UK Theme Parks, remember to like and subscribe. We're back on the theme parks now for probably the next month before we start hitting the fairs again. This is Legoland, and we'll see you next time.